Welcome. Welcome, folks. Welcome to another Let's Play. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> a, a new, new campaign. Brand new. Woo! Fate. The Rise of Madness. Goodbye, Amsh. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. You rest now, my sweet friend. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to be talking about. Like, we actually got to level 20. <clears throat> Setting up a few ground rules for all uh, of you watching on YouTube because you haven't heard any of this yet. Um, first is notes. Taking notes. Since this game will be played more or less once every three weeks, taking notes is vitally important. Uh, if you ask me a question about something you should have written down, you can make a DC 20 intelligence check uh, using your character stats. And if you succeed, oh, shit, I don't care with that. <laughs> if you succeed, I'll give you the info. All right. If you don't, well, you just so, don't remember. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't ever take notes. <laughs> well, you need Better to start. start. But I also don't forget stuff, either. I'm like, you know, I remember everything. I'm just saying, you need to start. I just don't, I can't, I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> I can't read his character sheets. <laughs> like, seriously. Bro, you're in trouble. Read your <laughs> um, Read that. Second, this campaign is going to be more yeah. fully <laughs> in my world, meaning that a few things are different. The monetary system. Uh, the key ones that we'll have to deal with right now are uh, the the coin of the realm is called the Draka. It is dragon scales, enchanted dragon scales. Uh, don't be too alarmed. It's not dragonborn scales. It's just the dragon scales. Uh, <laughs> My cousins. <good. laughs> How dare you? They are uh, collected yearly from the uh, Dragon Isles. Are they like just? Um, all the dragons live on like the dragon isles. Dragons chained up. Unless they're chromatic. No, they live there. <laughs> they live there and they molt. Like, oh, okay. like birds. Uh, or snakes or whatever. You know what I mean? And they know that shit's valuable, so they do it in one place and they get a lot of money for it. <laughs> well, they, it is the money. Yeah. They get treasure. <laughs> they, there is trade and stuff that happens. Yeah. And all that fun stuff for it. Um, <laughs> they use chromatic dragon scales. Or draka. Uh, the gold piece of the realm is white. White draka. Uh, silver piece is red, and copper piece is black. Um, there are things worth more. There are uh, scales worth more than that. Um, that. But that's the base. That's our basis. Yeah. <clears throat> it's copper. Um, white, red, black. Yeah, and it is a it's it's a base ten in, in, in these so ten ten black is one red ten red is one white okay. um, one hundred white is one green so it feels like a platinum did you post to the Facebook group yes. no I got it okay thanks and uh, if I recall correctly blue is your highest yeah the blue is the highest it's a it's a lot. You probably won't see a blue for a long time, so don't even worry about that one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> blue is like big time merchant deal kind of stuff. It's like, All I'll, right. I'll, I'll give you one blue for this city. <clears throat> yeah. Also, um, the like calendar is mind. completed. I do have a, a calendar for the realm. Uh, it's a 10 day based, <laughs> 10 months. In 10 days. Four 10 days per month. Hey. Um, hey. hey. Seasons. It's favorite. And I <laughs> have. Uh, they're all named. If you want to look at it, you can. But it's not wildly present right now. We're going to be starting right after the start of summer. So it will be nice and warm. And we're headed to winter. Is, is there like a, a day of rest? So winter. Kind of like is Sunday. Um. Okay. Look, that's a good question. So this is happening right after what's called Elven Tide, yeah, which is when the elves um, celebrate all of the, the elves that died in battle. Oh, yeah. Elves can't die otherwise, and uh, it also heralds in the start, the more or less official start of summer. Like Michelob's. There are the amber bucket. All right. <clears throat> 
for those of you curious. Here's our current Twitter map, which is lovely. Um, it's also on all of our all of our um, Facebook pages and the Twitters, Twitters, and all that. I'm at the shop. So you can look at this, print it, use it, whatever. It I've looks, been everywhere on there. I didn't intend it to be this way, but it looks vaguely like the U.S. It's got, not. Got a couple panhandles. It was not that. intended that way. I assure you. Uh, I just happened to work out that way. Subliminally, I guess. We're going to be starting in this lovely town. Little little village called Fissian. F-I-C-I-A-N. Our game begins in Fissian, small town east-northeast of Aleacar, which is the very large coastal city. Uh, that's E-L-E-A-C-A-R. I'm writing the name of the town. <laughs> west, southwest of Iserod, a different town, close to the mountains. Do you need pins? Yeah. I don't like a pen. I've like, got a shit ton right like behind you. Pencil. Yeah. I've got literally a shit ton right behind you. The day you. is Masnasul, the 26th of Alviam, the third month of the year. Um, 5,115. Right the box right there. 102 years after the events of the Chroma War, which was the last campaign. How many years ago? 102 years okay. after. Let me take one of those two, actually. When the members of fate ended the rise of Tiamat. It is about noon when our story begins. Quetzal. Pretzel. Played by Bob. Pretzel. Yes. <laughs> pretzel. Quetzal. Quetzal the pretzel maker. I do not Quetzal understand. is working at the local tavern called the Joyous Lepus as its chef. A Lepus, by the way, is a rabbit person. His boss. Even <laughs> <laughs> that speaker is like having a hard time breathing. So you can see the R. Yeah. His boss is a lepus named Dak Lustrous. D A K. Who wears colorful clothing underneath a smudged apron, showing the years of running the tavern. Krishna. Hi, uh, Krishna. Actually, hang on. Quetzal, describe yourself. Dak what? I am a Dracula? bird. What? And a man. No, Dak, what was the last name? Birdman. Oh, Lustrous. Brown and white Lustrous. feathers. Okay. Brown and white feathers. I like to cook. I want to I wanna cook everything. I want to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> then, like no one ever uh, was. No one ever was. Or Lustrous. What do you wear? Just like chef gear? Just, yeah. Just like default chef gear? I'm like gear? a chef uniform. You, okay. You're literally wearing a fully white thing with like you spattered are, are food on the front. Chef. It's yeah. a bird. You're Swedish chef in <laughs> bird form. Gotcha. Pretty much. Excellent. Do you have armor on underneath your uh, big coat and nope. apron? Nope. No. Uniform. Unarmored. No. The uniform does what it needs to do. It counts as armor, I think, so. Krishna, <laughs> played by our very new uh, player, Will. You want to say hi to the stream people? You can. Hi, stream people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard at work at the local smithy called the Stabby Blocky Smithy. Really? Run by Katruni Steelhand the Goblin. Is, did you say Patruni? Katruni. K-A-T-R-U-N-I. Stabby Blocky? Stabby Blocky Smithy. The Stabby Blocky Smithy. Because in yes. your world, the goblins are the master smiths. Yes, they're very, very talented. <laughs> What was that goblin's name? Uh, Katrina? Katruni. Sharpening one of the swords you recently cracked. K-A-T-U-R-I. Kane. Oh, would you like to describe yourself? So I'm dragonborn. Tall, cold, handsome, bad looking mofo. (laughs) (laughs) What color are your scales? Gold. 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 I like gold. That's good. Not that it would make a difference wildly either way, but that's cool. Um, gold is that uh, is that fire, fire breath? Yeah. Fire. Yes. Okay. Very very nice. 
Kane, who I am intimately familiar with, um, although I'm sure that this one's backstory is slightly different than you normally do. Uh, Kane yeah. is in the Joyous Lepus, if you can see right there, uh, seated at a table. Eli, do you want to no. put this down Just so we white. can... Wait. He is, he's the white room. How big is this tavern? <laughs> It's a good that, size step. Okay. Yeah, we've had some good times with that little map. Yeah, I think it's the same one we saw. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the starting of campaign map. It is. Um, Kane is in the joyous sleep is at one of the tables looking across the way at Dak. His current target. <laughs> Ooh. He knows that Dak has been leaking information he picks up from his patrons to other shady merchants for some insider trading, and that he has already been warned about it by Penumbra, the assassin group that works. That is that sort of fucks shit up. Powered by the guild. It's the police force. Finn is wandering about Fissian and stumbles into the smithy where Krishna is working. Uh, if you'd like to describe yourselves, you can. Cain, if you'd like to start. Yeah. Cain is, uh, kind of looks like your every, every man type of guy. He's not too tall, not too short. It's a, it's a, like, normal build. Yeah, norm, normal, like, actually, he looks a little, like, thin. Yeah. Really. So he, do, so he doesn't look like a big bulky guy. Mostly unobtrusive. So one one characteristic that is difficult for him to disguise is uh, he's got very piercing blue eyes as well that that can at times distinguish him from from the crowd. They almost look like they glow, <clears throat> like that kind of blue. Yeah, got the spice. Like like, <laughs> like spice <laughs> from Dune. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, but as far as like garb goes, he's He's wearing clothes that look like that they're about like what everyone else is wearing, but they're well kept. Like it's like not really wearing like <coughs> wrinkled up. It's like it looks put together, but at the same time he's wearing pretty every, everyday run of the mill clothing. Very nice. Um, Dak is your target. The Quetzal's boss. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be paid 100 white raka for this contract. I'll let you figure all that out. Okay. We'll talk about that as we go. There are our other patrons in there as well. <coughs> Finn uh, is wandering about fishing and stumbles in to the smithy where Krishna is working. You like to describe yourself, Finn? So, big, like six foot eight, muscular uh, ginger dude who has like two hairs sticking out of the little butt chin. <laughs> uh, looks like he's in his 20s. Uh, has on a wolf hat thing, and then uh, kind of a little strap going down to his basically a loincloth. Doesn't wear much, but he's just. Has the uh, the big lat syndrome, like he can't. His elbow cannot touch his waist. <laughs> <laughs> um, he can't reach his other shoulder. Like when you put your hands down. Yeah, his hands just, like, go down here. to there. <laughs> like, he's like cartoonishly muscular. Yeah, he's just yeah, I big gotcha. giant bulky dude. We would like but to bug. Only heart. thing is, <laughs> if he speaks, it's his little kid's voice. <laughs> That's awesome. No charisma, by the way. <laughs> like, he's honestly yeah. annoying and weird. Your <laughs> weapon. So I have a big, uh, I have a great sword on my back, and then some hand axes at my side. The reason that you went uh, into the. So the I was told. Blocky smithing oh, it's to get a new weapon? Is because your great sword is, is like, stolen. Oh. And you need it to be. Oh, it'd be patched up. Fixed. Welcome. Proceed. Oh, so, well, hey, guy, uh, can you fix this? And then, like, just shing, yeah, you see big, this, like, giant. You see this super 
like beefy uh, guy with a little backpack on, uh, <laughs> hammering away at a different sword, and like next to him is is like a is is a goblin. A little goblin, like, a standing little, on the table? A goblin who's about half your height or less. <laughs> Just, like, scrutinizing your work, and he's really, uh... Just being an ass? He's not very nice about it, but <laughs> you've, you've learned a lot from him. You know, he's an asshole, but he's a skilled asshole. Um, His tool is yours. And he says, Krishna, go, go handle that for me. Of course we can. That's what we do here. Oh, all right. Cool. You don't know his name, I don't think. You haven't met, met him before. Nope. I don't think so. Ah, okay. So, what's your name, Adventurer? Uh, hey, I'm I'm Finn. Uh, just, just trying to fix my sword, because it's not the best, but it's good enough. How long are you going to be around this town? Oh, I don't know. Just kind of moving around. Need to mm -hmm. find work and... I don't know. Prove myself. That's good. It's good. Might take some time. All right. Need help? Oh. No, I think we got this. Okay. Should I uh, just sit here, or should I go somewhere else? You should probably go somewhere else. Okay. It'll take some time. I'll like There's walk right outside. Out. He tells you that it will cost about. It'll oh. cost you one red draka. Okay. To have it fixed. Okay. So basically, it's like the silver piece. I didn't uh, roll how much money I have, or oh, right. determine that. Um. But I'm guessing I have one silver or one red. You I would. As a barbarian, you don't get a lot of starting gold. Uh. So I did roll in Xanthus guy. I said modest upbringing, but. Okay. Uh, where's that table? Is it in the DHB? Yeah, it's. Uh... <coughs> You can get it. Let's say, you know what? Don't, don't worry about it. Oh um, let's say that. How, how much did you roll? One was um five feet four times ten. Okay. How much do you have? Hundred fifty. Hundred fifty. One. Let's say that everybody has. Them. Okay. One for now. Yeah. <clears throat> that works. Plus whatever starting non-magical gear that you have. So, one red is like... Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, and so typically, I... typically um, the sort of slang is they just call it by its color. Yeah. They don't necessarily say white draka or red draka. It's like one red, one black, one white, one green, whatever. So, while I was doing this, can I go ahead and make my art, like my pile of things? Can sure. Kick them up? Yes, um, you are busy in the back. Um, they bring you food orders and of course you prepare them. Um, this particular tavern, we'll get back to you guys. In a minute. Yeah. Uh, this particular tavern has become more popular because. Of Quetzal, um, being as, it, it, this as, badass as, chef as good has chef made this place popular. Is. Um, sitting at one of the tables is, and Kane, you would have seen this gentleman. Oh, you would have heard me. <laughs> yeah, uh, you would yep. have heard and Clank, seen this clankily jangly. Um, there's a Deufur. Which is a tiefling sort of individual. Um, enter. What would you would you like to describe yourself and do your thing? All right. Do I have at least a couple people around me? Yes. I don't have all the minis out because I'm not going to do that. But <laughs> Fair. Yes, for the sake of discussion, um, there's there's yeah. it's crowded. There's you a have, badass chef there. It it is a pretty crowded tavern right now. Yeah. So you see. Um, like a burnt red skin, Dayful. Um, 
black and gray horns. Um, and you get um, one second. You get two common magic items. Okay, I forgot to get big guys out. No worries. Continue. Continue. Sorry. They're um. in Xanathar's. So. <clears throat> yeah. So. Okay. Burnt red skin and just like a shock of white hair. Kind of just standing up all over the place right now. Okay. And he's just like kind of crouched over this table going, Find the lady, find the lady. Just doing a card game. Okay. Seeing if somebody can find the lady. And um, he's wearing kind of <clears throat> ostentatious garb. What color is it? Um, a lot of colors. <laughs> Just a lot vibrant. of colors. Just, it's like Tied patchwork. It looks like it's been pieced together from different types of clothing. The Technicolor dream coat. Kind of. <laughs> just, it just, is just the like. Technicolor dream coat. There, it looks like there might be pieces of circus tent in there. Just where he's patched it so many times. Okay. And, um, just, and, and there are. I'm gonna do this. I'm stealing it. There, his horns are decorated with just like little rings there like looks like a hole's been drilled through the left side and there's several like little baubles dangling off and um that jingle jangle mm -hmm. okay. and his tail which kind of swishes behind him mm -hmm. also has like rings and its own piercings and rings mm -hmm. and okay. he's and he's just trying to swindle some people out of their gold but he's he's, he's Doing some show showmanship. Yes. Like he Just is running, earning running it the, in, through entertainment. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, give me a performance check. All right, performance. First roll of the campaign. What you got? Ooh, twenty-four. Nice. Natural nice. seventeen. Jesus Christ. That's really good. <laughs> uh, so. And you, I'm. Gonna... You managed to swindle. Uh, about ten white from the crowd, uh, and they don't know. They they think it's a legit game with with that kind of performance. It, it's it's that's crazy, <laughs> and it's just it's one of those like, oh, you're luck, you're you're such you're such bad luck. Do you want to try again? Yeah, <laughs> you end up making. You do let him win by these few things, yeah. but you get money. They, they win them. every once in a while, but more often than not, I'm I'm. You know how to gamble. I'm swiping the cards back. So the lady's not even there, <laughs> mm -hmm. like into my one of my voluminous sleeves. Yeah. And I, I look over at, sorry, what was your character's name? Kay. It's like, you was there. Would you like a game? Okay then. Who else? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put I put Kane. Up against the wall because I figured that that's where he would see it. Oh yeah, just back, like back to no, the man. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Anything you want to do in there, Kane? Before we, we shift over. Um, is there anyone else of note around or? Give me a perception check. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to determine the order of which. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. You're rolling to see, yeah. The, the order until, <laughs> the they, until, they, until they go to di uh, dice jail. Right. We need to get you a dice jail. <laughs> this one's still in dice jail. I haven't rolled it since. Mm, it's, it's oh my like god. Like the beginning of the campaign. Oh, I've roll. rolled 19. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, not trusting it. It's not coming out. What's your total? And, and don't forget, like, it's level one, so the DCs yeah. aren't crazy hard. Uh, Not like a 16 was, normal. A 10. <laughs> 10? It? Okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so this tavern is full of various individuals. Um, you see several dwarves in all their rock lookingness uh, because dwarves in, in my, dwarves in my world are, are essentially made of stone and when they rest they become statues again. Stone statues, pretty neat. Um, you see a satyr in the corner, just sipping on his drink. He has a little like thin goatee, 
kind of thing going on. Yeah, the goat man's got to go see. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Um, there are a few lepus, which are the like rabbit people. Um, there's a ramian that looks like he's spent all day working on his uh, like at his farm. Mm-hmm. It's a ram folk. Um, there is a mal, and this one, because there are, you would know this being of the realm. Um, Mao, which are cat folk, uh, have different sort of levels of catness, so to speak. Um, the more noble the Mao, the more cat-like they look. Um, this one has... The only way that you can really tell that this particular Mao is one is the eye. Otherwise yeah, looks um, pretty human. Otherwise looks looks very human. So like, as sort of a point of, of perspective, um, the sort of lower class Mal just have like maybe their ears are uh, or like maybe they might have cat like ears and cat eyes or something like that. Uh, okay. Right, and then like this the super nobility Mal, I think Hermione after she botches the apology <laughs> potion. Yeah. Like, or, yeah. The real question. Super catness. Does he, yeah. have, does he have wares? <laughs> uh, if you have coin, <clears throat> we'll get to that. Okay. All right. But outside of that, I mean, there are also the sort of default smatterings of humans and elves yeah. and stuff. Um, <coughs> but there isn't necessarily any anyone of particular interest. Um, so, uh, we're out of time. Oh, yes. Okay. We're out of time for this video. We'll be right back. Later. See you.